bathroom. Test one, two. Test one, two. Where is our big resting area? People, Pastor Dr. Dylan Del Wheeler here. President and founder of Mighty FGCC Bible College and Theological Seminary in this country and literally abroad. We're going to pray. We're going to begin our ministry of the Word of God. Father, we're so thankful. You are good and that our souls know right well. We thank you for being here with your power, your grace, your love, your understanding, your long suffering, and your mercy. We're not giving you glory. There's no God beside you. You are God. You are our God. You're in our hearts forever. Help us to stand upright and live right. Let the word of God be in our hearts, flow out of our mouth, live with our life. Let your son be number one in this world today. Bless your church everywhere, every member everywhere. Male and female alike, dear Lord. Let the truth have its place among your people. Let the song of praise permeate our spirits. Let us know that you gave us a promise. I will never leave you, nor forsake you, even to the end of the world. Give us a spirit to push. To give birth to your goodness that people might see evidently that we love God. And that God is loving us back. Help us today. Bless our family. Yes. Husband, wife, and children. Yes. Go there. Do something. Yes. Open their eyes that they might see what we see. The goodness of God that will not go away. Lord, we thank you for your son. Thank you. We thank you for your spirit. Yes. We thank you for your word. Yes. We thank you for your people. We thank you for the love of God that permeates our soul. Yes, thank you for this television ministry that is reaching millions. Yes, and for the engineer that is responsible for its production. Yes, Lord, help us today. Yes, Open our eyes that we might see all the good that you are and shout it out on the mountaintop. Yes, Bless the family. Bless. Bless the son, the daughter, the husband, the wife. Yes, Bless the family structure. Let us know we are not alone. Yes. You said in your word, I will never leave you nor forsake you, yes. even to the end of the world. And we believe that, Lord, and we live in it. Lord, I got 85 years old. Yes. Believe in you that you are good. Yes. Nobody you. like you. Yes. Hey, nobody like you. You are here. You are thou. Yes. You are everywhere. You are omnipresent. You are good beyond good. Go yonder, the Lord, and touch that soul. Yes. That one that's thinking about suicide because he can't see no hope. Yes, Lord. Yes. Have him look away from yes. the world and look to God. Yes. For you the author. You the finisher of our faith. Yes, Lord. You the breath that we breathe. The love that we give. Help us today. Help us, Lord. Bless your preach word. To go where you wanted to go and do what you want done. Do it now. And we give you praises. In Jesus name. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the preach word. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the preach word. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the preach word. Thank God for Dr. Blackman. Come brother. And bring nothing but the word. I introduce you to Dr. Blackman. Amen. Amen. I have one reader. She's going to read. All right. All right. All right. Come and read the scripture to us. Hallelujah. Bless us with nothing but the word of God. Good morning. Good morning. 
I'll be reading from Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out, thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Savior, Amen. Jesus Amen. Christ. Just thank God for being here Amen. on another Sunday with you all. So I opened my Bible and it landed at Psalms 139, so that's what we're going to read from. Amen. And we're going to thank God for all things this day. Amen. Thank him for his traveling mercies and for his grace upon our lives Amen. this day. Lives of our family members and all those that love and call upon the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalms 139 says, O Lord, Amen. thou hast searched me right. and known me. Amen. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Yes, thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it all together. Yeah, thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Yeah. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Mm -hmm. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. Yeah. If I make my bed in hell, Behold, thou art there. Yeah. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, yeah. even there shall thy hand lead me, yes. and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, mm -hmm. even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. Marvelous are thy works, yes. and that my soul knoweth right well. Mm -hmm. My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, yes. which in continuance were fashioned, even as yet there was none of them. Amen. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! Yes. If I should count them, they are more in number than the saints. Right. When I awake, I am still with thee. Yeah. Surely thou hast slain the wicked. O God, depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred, I count them my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Yes. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Praise Lord. God. Amen. 
Elihu speak moreover and said, Thinketh thou this to be right that thou saidest, My righteousness is more than God's. For thou saidest, What advantage will it be unto thee, and what profit shall I have if I be cleansed from my sins? Amen. I will answer thee and thy companions with thee. Look on to the heavens and see, and behold, the clouds which are higher than thou, if thou sinnest, what doest thou against him? Yeah. Or if thy transgressions be multiplied, what doest thou unto him? If thou be righteous, what givest thou him? Or what receivest he of thy hand? Thy wickedness may hurt a man as thou art, but and thy righteousness may profit the son of man. Yeah. By reason of the multitude of oppression, they make the oppressed to cry. They cry out by reason of the arm of the mighty. But none saith, where is my God, my maker, who giveth song in the night, who teaches us more than the beasts of the earth and maketh us wiser than the fowls of the heavens. There they cry, but none giveth answer, because of the pride of evil men. Surely God will not hear vanity, neither will the Almighty regard him. Although thou sayest thou shalt not see him, yet judgment is before him. Therefore trust thou in him. But now, because it is not so, he hath visited in his anger, yet he know, knoweth it not in great extremity. Yeah. Therefore, do Job open his mouth in vain? He multiplied words without knowledge. Praise That'll be read yeah. enough. Praise 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 Good morning, church. I'll be reading from uh, Psalm 32, Psalm 32, verse 1. Blessed is is he whose um, transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in those in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all the day long. Yeah. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My validity was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, and my iniquity I have not hidden. Mm -hmm. I said I would confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Yeah. For this cause, everyone who is great godly shall pray to you in time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters there shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you sh should go. I will guide you with my eyes. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and bridle, else they will not come near ye. You, excuse me. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, That's ye right. righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Amen. Amen. Amen.
this text. Amen. And we want, we're going to begin reading, I believe it's verse 25, the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 5, amen. Father, we come this morning in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father God, our souls are hungry. We need to be fed, Lord. You know what we need. You know what we need. Individually, each one of us separately. Amen. You know exactly what we need. Amen. So we pray, Father, that you will feed our hungry souls. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, you are in control. You are in charge. Have your way. Let your special anointing be upon these people, your people, that they may hear, that they may receive by faith, and that each one of us will learn to be a doer of your word, to apply your word first to our own life. Now help us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. grow us up in the faith. Grow us up in the faith. Make our, make our faith strong, big and strong, like you want it to be. And we know that the trials that we are going through and the trials that we are experiencing will help that faith to grow. Count it all joy. My brethren, yes. when you fall into diverse temptations, yes. various kinds of trials, knowing that the testing of your faith, yes, work and patient. Lord, Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you, we thank you for your word. You, now have your way in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it. Yes. Amen. A decision of faith. I want to share with you from this text that thought, a decision of faith. Making a decision of faith. Verse 25, Mark says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, there's another translation, Says that she had a flow of blood yes, for 12 years. Amen. 12 years is a long time, church. Yes, yes. 12 years is a long time, yes, especially with that kind of situation yes, going on in your life. Yes. And verse 26 says, and, and she suffered many things. Put a pen in that, many things. Mm -hmm. She suffered many things of many positions. You see that? Lord. She suffered many things of many doctors. Mm -hmm. And you can classify that many things. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide and direct your thoughts. She suffered many things of many doctors and has spent all that what? She had. Whew. Spent all of her money. Everything she had. For 12 years. Glory. And was no better, but rather what? Worse. worse. She suffered many things of many doctors, and the Bible says she spent all she had and was nothing or not any better, but she rather grew worse. In other words, the situation continued to grow worse and worse. Now she had a breakthrough. Verse 27. When she what? Heard of Jesus. The translation says when she heard about Jesus. When she heard of his reports. The things that he had done. Amen. The healing the sick. The making the blind man to see. All of these things Turning, uh, turning water into wine. Yes. She heard about those things. And she knew that he was in town. And 
And when she heard of Jesus, she came pressing behind him and touched his garment. Now you see what's going on now. Picture in your mind what's going on. When she heard of Jesus, she got up from where she was, and she came to where he was, and now she's pressing her way. And the Bible says she pressed behind him and touched his garment. For she said, if I may, what? Touch. That's all she wanted to do. Amen. That was her faith. That was her point of faith. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, his garment, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. You have to understand what's going on. She's already there in the midst of the crowd. And all of these people are gathered around, touching up against Jesus and his disciples. And here she is, probably crawling on the ground so she could not be seen. Because if she was, if she was seen, according to the law, she could have been stoned to death yeah. Yeah. with that kind of condition. And so she hid herself, and she pressed her way, probably crawling, to get to where Jesus was, not to touch him, but just to touch his clothes. Glory. That was her point of faith. Amen. Uh, a decision of faith. Amen. It is when we have, the writer says, it is when we have exhausted all of our resources. All of our energy and all of our intellect trying to do it our way, that we come to the point or that we come to the conclusion man cannot fix our problem. Come on, give God some praise. Man cannot fix our problem. I'm trying to hear from the Holy Spirit. Turn your Bibles to Psalms 118. We're coming back to this text, which you divided here. Psalms 118. I believe that's where it's at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Look at Psalms 118. Uh, let me see. I believe it's in verse 8 and verse 9. When you find it, just shout amen. amen. Psalms 118. Verse 8. Come on, read it with me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Y'all see that word? Amen again. He's going to repeat himself, but he says in verse 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. When it says, put confidence in man, he's talking about himself also. Amen. Not only it is better for us to put trust in God than to put trust in man than to put trust in ourselves. Because ourselves would get us in trouble. Right. Amen. 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 Now look at it, listen at the repeat. But he uses another word. He goes a little bit higher on the scale of rank. He says in verse 9, It is better to trust in the Lord than to do what? Than to put confidence in princes, in the rulers of this world. It makes no difference what position they are in, or what position they are holding, the president, uh, the senate, Amen. Whoever it might be, Amen. it is better to trust in the Lord. Come on, praise. Than to put confidence Amen. in princes, in the rulers of this world. Amen. 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 Glory. It is better to trust in God. Proverbs chapter 3, you know, verse 5 says, What? Trust in the Lord with all of what? Thine heart. 
and lead not unto thy own understanding. Verse 6. In all of our ways, acknowledge him. What will he do? And he will direct our paths. Amen. 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 Verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. And then when you get into verse 8, verse 8 tells us about, tell, tells us about the help that will come to our body. Amen. Because we are trusting God. Amen. Amen. Go back to the text. St. Mark chapter 5. This woman made a decision of faith. Amen. Now you have to look at verse 7. When she heard about Jesus, that's, that's I, I put number one, that's her first breakthrough. <laughs> her hearing about Jesus. Her hearing about the report. Now she not only heard about Jesus, but she believed in, come on, Amen. what she heard. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Not only reading this word, Glory. but we believe what the word say. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. That's the breakthrough. That's the number one breakthrough. Amen. When we believe what God's word say and apply that word to our lives. Amen. That's what she did. Look at verse 8, 28. For she said, <laughs> she believed in the reports. Verse 27. Then verse 28. For she said to herself. Y'all ever talk to yourself? Well, I do. And I'm not ashamed to say it. For she said to her, what? Self. If I may touch his clothes, I shall be Oh, she's talking to herself, but she's speaking a word of faith. Yes. You know what Proverbs 28 verse 21 says? Death and life is where? Or in the power of the tongue. It did not say that death and life is in the tongue. It says that death and life is in what? In the power of the tongue. So our tongue has power. Yes. Come on, y'all. Amen. God created our tongue with power. Glory. And with this tongue and the power that this tongue has, we can speak death or we can speak life. Yes. Come on, y'all. Praise it. That's the word. We can speak death or life. Not only with others, but to ourselves. That's right. Amen. And so this woman, with her tongue, she's speaking healing into her life. Come on, y'all. She's speaking healing into her life. There was no one in the house but her. She was there by herself. If I may touch. The Bible says, and, 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 and Mark wanted to classify that. For she said, <laughs> Well, she said, if I may touch his clothes, I, come on, say it with me, I shall be whole. Amen. It says, her first breakthrough, of course, is in verse 27, when she heard about Jesus, she heard about the reports and all of the things that he had done. Even raising Lazarus from the grave. Glory. All of those things. Even, even yeah. stopping a funeral procession. Glory. And raising a dead girl to life. She heard about all those things. Amen. And so in verse, in verse 29, after she had said, if I may touch, she's talking to herself. In verse 29, it says, in straightway. Glory. That word straightway, it means immediately. Amen. Right then. <laughs> Somebody say right then. Right I mean, right then, while she's on her way, she's already at the crowd trying to get to Jesus. When she spoke those words, the Bible says, and straightway and immediately, the fountain of her blood, or the floor of her blood, did what? Was dried up. Right there in the morning. Amen. Only Jesus was dried up. And she felt, <laughs> y'all see that? And she felt in her body 
that she was healed of that plague. And now she's all right. She's feeling all right about herself. She don't mind being in the crowd any longer. Right <laughs> because she's already healed. And the Bible says in verse 30, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself, I want you to see something here, that virtue had gone out of him, turned himself about in the press, in the crowd, and said, who touched my what? Oh. I've heard this sermon a whole lot of times. He did not say, who touched me? He didn't say that. He said, who touched my clothes? Yes, he knew exactly that that woman, what she had done, she had put her hands on the garment that she had. Yes, or that he had, rather. Mm -hmm. This robe that he wore represented his high priestly hood. Yes, and she touched the border of that robe. Mm -hmm. One writer says, she touched that twisted cord mm -hmm. down at the bottom of his robe. And in Hebrew, that twisted cord, it represents the word of God. Yeah. Come on, give God some praise. She touched the word of God. Yeah. And she was made whole. So her second breakthrough, her second breakthrough is found where? Did I write the scripture down? In verse 28. An inward spirit encouraged her to get up from where she was to find the man of God. The Bible says she pressed her way Amen. through the crowd. She pressed her way through the crowd. And verse 29 again, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed. Amen. Number three, the breakthrough. She spoke her word of faith. Again in verse 28. If I may touch, I shall be made whole. It seems that she was speaking these words while she was in the midst of the crowd. And she was. Verse 29. While she was pressing and while she was touching. She kept saying to herself, if only I may touch. Amen. That's faith. Amen. That's faith. Mm -hmm. And you and I can practice that same faith. Amen. 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 Verse, 20, verse 30, we're going on again. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virgin had gone out of him, turned him about in the, in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Listen to the disciples. And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging, pressing up against thee. And you got nerve to say, Who touched you? Who touched me? They had no idea what was going on. The only two people that knew what was going on was the woman and Jesus. Come on, y'all. Hey! And guess what? That's all that was needed. If you can connect with Jesus, yes. it don't have to be a crowd of people in church. Amen. If you can just connect with Jesus this yes. morning Amen. and tell him what your needs are, yes. he will meet your need, I believe, if you speak the word of faith. Yes. Come on, give God some praise. Yes. He already knows he already know what the need is. Yes. He wants us to express it to him. You know what the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7 says, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and what? You shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open. That's faith. Ask, seeking, and knocking. Amen? Amen. That's faith. Verse 32. And Jesus looked around about to see her, the woman that had done this thing, that had touched his clothes. Verse 33, but the woman fearing and trembling, she's standing up now, and trembling, 
knowing what was done in her body, came and fell down. Now she's falling down and worshiping him before him and told him all the truth about this 12 years, about the flow of blood, the thing that had been going on in her body. And she's telling him what she said to herself. And she's telling him all of this. And Jesus said to her, come on, say it with me. In verse 34, daughter, come on, y'all, daughter, thou faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thou dead. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. If we miss it, it won't be good for us to miss it. He did not say that his faith had made her whole. He said to her, your faith, Amen. come on y'all, your faith, we are free moral agents. God will not impose upon our faith. Amen. He won't do it. He will not impose upon our choices we make, our decisions. Amen? He gives us freedom to make decisions. Amen? Amen? Mm -hmm. And he gives us freedom to express our faith. Yes. Amen. Because he wants us to grow in our faith. One passage and we're going to close. Turn your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Holy Spirit gave it to me. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. If you have it, just say amen. Let me read. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. They had no temptation. They had no trial. They had no test. Taking you for such as is common to man or to mankind. What you and I are going through now, others have already gone through. Amen. Come on, praise it. And after us, after us, others are going to go through. Amen. They have no temptation taking you, no trial have overcome you. That's what the word taken means. But such as is common to man. Come on, say it with me. Two words. What? But God is what? Faithful. But God is faithful. God will always have the same faith. He will always have the same faith. But God is faithful. Here it is. Who will not suffer you. Who will not allow you to be tempted to be tried above that you are able. Amen. Oh. Glory. But we'll whip the temptation. Mm -hmm. But we'll whip this trial that you and I are experiencing right now. But we'll whip the trial. Also do what? Make a way to escape. Amen. That you may be able to bear it. Amen. Give God a praise for the word. A decision of faith. You can do that today. Mm -hmm. I've done it. I did it this morning. Glory. A decision of faith. And God's going to do exactly what he said he would do. Give me a five minutes. He said, I will never okay. leave you Amen. nor forsake you. Yeah. He said, I will supply all of your needs. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. I pray for this ministry. I pray for God's people. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Oh, my soul. And oh, yeah. that is glory. Yes, sir. Look what it says. Bless his holy name. Holy name. Glory. Amen. I am so glad to be here. Amen. I'd rather be here than no other way. Hallelujah. With the saints. See this thing here, got a, got a clock on it. It's going to tell me when I'm supposed to stop. And the engineer is going to tell me when to stop. I feel like praying. Father, I love you. Yes, sir.
you know it. I, I can't tell you nothing you don't know. <clears throat> but I'm 85 years old plus. And I ain't thinking 85. I'm thinking 25, 26. I'm making plans for the use me and my seed. Yeah. I'm making plans to leave a, a map to follow. And everybody's got this map. It's called the Word of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And our conclusion is, can't nobody mm. hey, no more boy. Yes. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Amen. And I like that last part, Lord. He is my yes. friend. Yes. Tell me your Bibles to John 14. And we would read from God's word. Amen. It says in John 14, you see, God is counseling the author of John. God is counseling his people. Glory. Look what he said. Mm -hmm. Let not your heart mm -hmm. be what? Take up your offering and go on. Amen. Don't let Satan trouble your spirit. Amen. Left home early so I could start the furniture running and find out black ones here already cut it on. And just before I leave, I left home the the blanket had fallen off of my wife laying down there. And I said, look. So I picked up the blanket and I laid it back on her. This is what she said. Thank you, baby. You're a good man. Now that don't mean a whole bunch to you, but to me. Thank you, baby. You're a what? good man. Amen. Look like to me. We ought to tell one another something at that same time. Amen. Amen. You're a good lady. Amen. You are sanctified. Yes. You are glorified and you are powerful and you are Lord. precious and you are blood washed and you are spirit filled. Lord. We can't say anything like that and call that preaching. Yes, Amen. Come on. <laughs> My subject is, thus said the Lord. It's been my subject now for 50 years. Amen. And the camera operator, we were talking and both crying. And we conclude that in this world, mm -hmm. if you have one friend, same time. Amen. Yeah. 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 I got my son James. I got Jarvis. I got Blackman. And I got you. Yeah. He was saying, you got them many friends. I said, yeah, but I can squeeze them all together and they won't come up to the worth of one other friend I got. <laughs> he said, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> I said, his name is Jesus. Amen. So he'll stick closer. <laughs> this book also, when your father and your mother forsake you, I will Lord take you up. Did he tell us? Don't be weary and well done. Look at the condition. You will reap the benefit if you don't faint. Mm -hmm. 
faith, because that makes you forfeit your crown. Right. So we come to the, the conclusion to God. Hey! To God. I'm sitting here not thinking about my wife. Precious woman. Blanket fell off the bed. I put it back on her. She said, Thank you, baby. You're so good to me. Just cover her. Who do you think got you covered? <laughs> Amen. What do you think? Your blanket is righteousness and peace and joy. That's preaching my damn. And everything I tell you that's good, God is. Amen. And when I get to the place where I can't see all that good, I just cry so the tears is God good. Amen. 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 I love you. You love me. We are what? Happy family. Boy, there ain't no place on the earth I'd rather be than right here. Amen. Telling you what you already know. God showed me good to you. Amen. Now, the devil's job is to try to make us forget that. No, 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 no. Before I knew he was good, he was good. When I was out there in the street, acting like a crazy man, he was good then. And you see, 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 we need to know God's business is that business that we got that can't help Amen. Amen. I said, God's solution is the problem that we got that we can't help. Amen. That situation that we can't relate to, he can. Amen. He can go. See, God, you try to talk to your family that's not saved and they shut you down. Now listen to me. Why did they shut you down? See. They heard what you said. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got your message over. Right. Right. Now your conversation between you and God. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to pray all night, night like I do sometimes. Lord, I thank you. <sighs> you talk about some nice mm -hmm. I ain't talking about begging yourself to sleep. I'm talking about when you lay down with all these situations on your mind, all these problems, all these concerns, and you come as to praying about them. No, no. You can take them to bed with you, but you need to flush them to get peace. Now, I know a man. You, you, you ain't got to know you come from Galilee. You ain't got to know he saved me. You got to know that God so loved the world. He gave. Now, it's very important for everybody to know who God gave. To whom, for what? Well, those questions can be answered, St. John. For, 316, God so loved the world. See, I'm learning how to slow down and the Holy Spirit teach. Those people in our family that don't know God, they are the world. Amen. Well, the Bible says in St. John 316, God so loved that world. And <clears throat> that he gave the world a choice. Mm -hmm. Come unto what? Mm -hmm. Me. Mm -hmm. All you that what? Mm -hmm. Labor and what? Mm -hmm. And the labor. And what 
get it from it. I will give you what? Rest! If God ain't in it, I don't want any. Yeah, amen. amen. I say, if God ain't in it, mm -hmm. I don't want any. I'm going to show you how God deals with us. When I came this morning, it was leaking in the ladies' bathroom. I said, Lord, please stop. First line in St. John 14 is a counsel. Let not your heart be troubled. Now, you got to do that before you go further. Because that's not a request. That's a command. Amen. That's a command from God. Stop letting People jug at you, and you see that as trouble. Another scripture said, Cast all your care upon me. What did he say? I what? Care for you. That's the message. God care for us. Never mind what the problem is. God told me, Jamie, you think about the problem more than you do the solve. Right. I said, you know, he said, yeah. He said, what happened to that godless smile? You see how James smiled? All ain't well with him. He looked away. 
away from that mm -hmm. to the one that can deal with that. Amen. Glory. Once he put a smile. See, the smile ain't just on your face. Just before a dog bites you, he smiles. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I'm talking about spiritual stuff. I'm talking about And when you come to think about spiritual stuff, you need a handkerchief. Amen. Ain't nobody that's sweet and saved can keep on thinking about how good God is and keep your eyes. Amen. Those tears. Or expressing what your mouth can't. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I searched the world over and they can't find nobody as good to me as you are. Lord, I th that, that's praise it. Amen. Lift your hands. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, I receive. I receive a reason. A reason to pray. To pray. Glory to you. Glory to you. Hallelujah.
prove itself to us. And in my life, James don't remember, but when he's a little boy, he caught a hold to a butcher knife blade like that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I just said, sharp that knife for a stone. I caught him with the head to the I said, give it to me, son. Judas was prophesied as going to betray Jesus, suddenly be killed. Nobody knew that but Jesus. The disciples didn't know it. So they asked little John and laid his head on his bosom. It was close to Jesus. They said, ask him <laughs> who he's going to be. Amen. They're going to betray him. <clears throat> John said, <clears throat> Tell the disciple, he told little John. He said, The one down south, you, you take some cornbread, you lift it and serve it, you sign it. Now, city folk don't know about that. Jesus said, Okay, I'll tell you. The one that sunk just before me, he's the one. Is going to deny me. He hadn't denied him then, but the prophecy was he is going to deny me. He's going to act like he's eating my body, but he's going to sell my soul to the devil. Did you know 
the enemies of Jesus paid Judas to turn Jesus over to them? Yeah. Mm.
of Jesus from the face of the devil I used to have. He brought me from a Yes, sir. So I'm teaching you and me when everything else fails. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Even a fool mm -hmm. will try Jesus. Because mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm not a man, I cannot lie. Right. Yeah, my sister cared for her sister. Mm -hmm. Amen. She was confident. She went and got some water. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody wrote a song when you're thirsty and dry. I'm going to change that. Don't look to the sky. Look to Jesus. Amen. He will give you to drink. Amen. Now think of the drink when they was at this one party and they were drinking all those wine, you see. And then and they drunk up all the good <coughs> wine. Then they drunk up all the bad wine. <laughs> and then went to the horse and Since you stepped out of your motherhood, I'm 
I'm stealing out of my son. Mm -hmm. A woman? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you, did you get that? Glory. Broke the relationship. Let's teach it now. If we do that thing that we want to do, that Jesus disagreed with, mm -hmm. we are the water. Amen. 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 So you want to pass the church red, white, and blue, and you're going to call a business meeting mm -hmm. and ask the people, do you vote for red, why do you vote for blue? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, thank you, Holy Spirit. In all your ways, is it no good? Acknowledge or surrender your ways to the ways of God. Mm -hmm. And he will direct your path. Mainly directing the path of the drunks. And let God 
and say to your seed, you pray in the prayer that Jesus died to fulfill. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Satan was telling us that we're wrong. Not 
just going to kill. So when the police stop you, now they think you're drunk. They get you in the highway and you're that white man. He said, walk that white line. Now, now if you get over that line, you're lying. Going to jail. Because of something you put in your body that made your body drunk. When Paul comes to testify, one of the so-called elders of Paul, thou art drunk. He said, no. I'm not drunk like you suppose I am. I got no.
can be the recipient of his work if you receive it. Look and live, let you live, look to Jesus when? Now in what? Then the scriptures started coming. I can what? Do what? Oh, oh thank how by Christ that strengthened me. And he gave me a thought that I didn't have. He said, Are you thinking beyond 85 or are you thinking toward 75? See? I said, Oh, that was. Mm -hmm. Don't never. Get so smart. Mm -hmm. You think you're heaven's library. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. There's always somebody mm -hmm. that's a part of the body that can act like a part that you are not. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord, help me with it. Apostle, prophet, evangelist. Pastors and what he teaches the five fold ministry. Listen to hear one another, you got to love one another. Amen. Amen. I heard some women, ain't to my people in America, to my people in China. I heard of some women over there in China. That listen to a man and got in trouble. Mm -hmm. American women don't do that, but I'm talking about these Chinese people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if any man hear my voice mm -hmm. and come <coughs> to me, I will bless him. Yes. Amen. Now, you need to know that it wasn't me that said that. You need to know the name, the nature, the calling, the place of the one that said, Come unto me, all you that labor and head and labor, and I will give you rest. Now, he wasn't talking to you. You have the rest. Is that right? Jesus is your rest. He made that statement to the world. Now, to us, the information sound like this. Cast all your care upon me. I care for you. So you need to know to whom he's talking about what and what the solution is. Jesus is a friend. Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yes. Jesus is a friend that will stick close to you as a brother. I told the television engineer to tell me when I have five minutes. Because I don't want you backsliding because of the fee you took. Did you know? People tell me, Pastor, look what they say. More people will come to your church Jesus. if you don't hold them too long. <laughs> wow. Look what they say. More people will come to your church. Your church. Hey, your church. <laughs> Amen. God told me, be faithful. <laughs> be, be faithful. How long until death? And then I will give you a word. See, this is human. So he'll slip off. But 
Jesus go one at a time, just one hit at a time. Now, there might be trillions in the line, but there ain't but one. Her name is Church. She gonna walk before Jesus and give her head like that. Now you can't give your head for the crown until you give your heart to the word. Mm -hmm. Am I teaching you? A word? <laughs> huh? And this God we got, mm -hmm. He big. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Omnipresent, He's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Omniscient, He know everything. Omnipotent, got all power. How you gonna deal with a God like that? Mm -hmm. I tell you how. I surrender right. all. I surrender all to Jesus. I surrender. I wish I could say it like Jane. <laughs> Everybody had my gifts. See my hand? There's five fingers. Neither one of them look like the other. Until you bring them together. That's just the apostle. Hold the other four gifts together. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, he's the first apostle, mm -hmm. then prophet, mm -hmm. then evangelist, huh? mm -hmm. then pastor, then teacher. The teacher brings up the real. Because neither of those other four are perfected as long as they live in the flesh. Your sins will mess with your guilt. Mm -hmm. So we have to pray. To get you free. Amen. 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 Yeah, I, I, I come. Because Paul said, we prophesy in part. Mm -hmm. Because we see yes. in part. But when Jesus comes, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, we will know. Yes. Yes. Just like we will know. Mm -hmm. God knows everything about us. Man. Yes. Amen. Amen. Two and a half hours playing him. Oh. How many minutes we got? You have 10 minutes and 20 seconds. He got right down to it, didn't he? <laughs> he must be conscious of time like you are. He could have said 11 minutes, you know, 12 minutes. 10 minutes and 30 seconds. 10 seconds now.
I am God. That you might have life. And that you might have that life more abundantly. So holiness can't grow. But we can submit more ourselves to Jesus that is our holiness. I thank God for all of you. Without you, can nobody preach to you? Say the internet. That's right. Amen. And got billions on that. Mm -hmm. yep. And tell me I'm operating. Probably gonna help me to get it out there. And I, I told him I'm 86. Because what you say is what they need, and you didn't raise them for. Amen. So you got to know. <laughs> you got to know how they talk. I told Sister Rio, I ain't going to marry her this way. She said, Listen to what you say. I ain't going to never get saved. She said, I agree. <coughs> because I have to be crucified. To allow Jesus to resurrect. She always had something to turn around and pluck you with. It, I mean, she, she couldn't read her name and call her <coughs> stuff, but that woman had. Oh, Jesus. God sent her as an example to me. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you three minutes. Get your finance ready to give to Jesus. Because when you came in, I got a little music stand there with the gas bill on it. I know it ain't like you didn't see it because I put it right where you come in at. <laughs> Appreciate you helping. Father, we are so thankful. Yes. Hey, you've been good. You've been good. Keep us safe. Let the peace of God control in our family. Help us to know how to read the attitude of our unsaved one. When they rebel, that means they hug. <laughs> Help us now. In Jesus' name. Amen.
visit your patients. And God has given you all the answers. One of these days, this is what we're going to be listening to. Come on in. Lord, have mercy on your soul, please. Oh, man. It ain't going to be like you and myself with your friends. I'm going to fuck with you. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.